Welcome to Lecture Online. Now let's take a look at mixed numbers and see how to convert mixed numbers to percentages. Here we have the number 4 and 3 25ths, 6, 17 over 50, 12, 3 eighths. How do we convert those to percentages? Well, it turns out you can think of 4 and 3 25ths as 4 plus 3 25ths. In other words, we can first convert the 4 to a percentage and then convert 3 over 25 to a percentage. Since 1 is equal to 100%, 4 is equal to 400%. This can then be written as 400% plus 3 over 25. And now all we have to do is convert 3 over 25 to a percent. And we can use the technique where the denominator can be turned into 100 by multiplying it by 4. And we must multiply the numerator times 4 as well. This can then be written as 400% plus the fraction 3 over 25 turned into the following fraction by multiplying both the denominator times 4 and the numerator times 4. This then becomes 400% plus 12 over 100. And again, the rule is that if you have a fraction where the denominator is equal to 100, you can simply turn that number into a percent by taking the numerator and putting a percent behind it. This is then equal to 400% plus 12%, which is equal to 412%. I wrote it out like this so you can see how that's actually done. And of course, after a while, you can make it a little bit faster. Notice here, I can write 6 and 17 as 6 and 17 over 50 and multiplying both the denominator and the numerator by 2, like this so that now I know that I can write this as a fraction with a hundred in the denominator. This can now be written as a mixed number 6 and 34 over 100. And then this can be written as 600% because 6 is equal to 600% plus any fraction whose denominator is equal to 100 can be written in terms of a percent by taking the numerator and putting a percent sign behind it. And this then becomes 634 percent. Same technique as above, just doing it a little bit faster. And now for our third mixed number, 12 and 3 eighths, notice I cannot turn the 8 into 100, which means I have to do a longhand division for that part of the fraction. Let's go over here. We divide 3 by 8 and see what we get. 8 goes into 3, 0 times, remainder is 3, put a decimal place there, put a decimal place there, add a 0, 8 goes into 30, 3 times, 3 times 8 is 24, remainder is 6, add another 0, 8 goes into 60, well that looks like 7 times, 7 times 8 is 56, remainder is 4, add another 0, come down here, make that into a 40, 8 goes into 40, 5 times, which means I can write 12 and 3 eighths as a decimal, 12.375. Now we can turn this into a percent by simply moving the decimal place over two spots, one, two, and putting a percent sign behind it. This is therefore equal to 1,237.5%. And so if you cannot turn the denominator into 100, then that, the best thing to do is to go ahead and do a longhand division on the fraction portion here, add it to the whole number, and then move the decimal place over two spots. And that's how it's done.